forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys, and welcome back to the next try, Alpha 19. So, uh, episode 2 back, I said that there's something eat or drink to get yourself like 100% lockpicking skill and stuff like that. Now, Andrew Bishop is the guy that commented. Thanks for commenting again. Apparently, it's in the vending machines. It's a candy that you can buy. I'm um, guessing this is a yep, vending machine. What does this do? Melee damage 50%. Uh, health, max health bonus 10%. Uh, Rockbusters, Mining Harvest, 20%. So you can actually buy all these. And yeah, uh, I think it also resets every like day 5. You can see over here. So I need to come back then and see if there's more for lockpicking itself. We now have 30 lockpicks. So we're going to be able to lockpick quite a bit. But if they keep failing, that's a big problem. Now I think for harvesting over here, uh, Mining Harvest plus 20%. So you get 20% twenty more, uh, 20 more uh, loot when harvesting. Melee damage... We don't really do melee all that often anymore. And health, armor, crit, resist, 50%. So all these could really come in handy, but I think at the moment we're going to wait for the uh, lockpicking one. Especially since our loot isn't actually that great, we need better loot. We need more stuff to sell. Now before we go out, just notice it's still super, super bright over here. I'm just going to go and set it a little bit darker. Um, you know, no, I'll do it in the morning, after night time. I, don't, I just don't want to set it too uh, too dark and then during night time you can't see anything at all. At least, no, let's just quickly drop the coins as well because that's just going to take up space. Um, but yeah, no, at least we can quickly go loot stuff. I hope we come across a, quite a bit of good loot, guys. We really are in desperate need of good loot. And then as you guys can see, I have the range of here and I put the weighted head mod on this thing. So it can just do a little more damage. Now, I could craft a level 2 range, but I'm not quite sure if the damage goes up with quality. As far as I know, it's just the mods that determine quality or damage. Trader Joel's a clown soon. Wait, but that's a Trader Joel. Isn't it a lady trader? Okay, so we were up there. We were up there. We... Yep, we definitely did these two buildings over here. Oh, 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 oh. Almost forgot. We need to go for the airdrop. Where was it? The airdrop was over here somewhere. So if I just keep going left, it should appear again. I even said last time we, uh, we didn't want to uh, get it yet, uh, I'll do it next episode and now I almost forget. It should pop into view as soon as you get close enough to it. I should technically be killing every single zombie we come across, but some of these are a little bit tougher to deal with. For, uh, for example, the biker zombie. I don't want to waste my blunderbuss ammo. Wow, just look at the lighting of it, that's awesome. That is really cool, so even in the dark you'll be able to see it. Please give me some good stuff, and nope. We could just sell it. I'm just going to sell that as is. I'm not even going to repair it. This is going to be a waste to repair it. Now guys, I've noticed that the, the lighting in the game is still a bit bugged. So I hope they fix that soon. You know, as you are looking left and right and up and down, sometimes the, the screen flickers like the, the lighting in that split second is different than the other um, lighting. What's this over here? Just a normal zombie. From the, it almost looked like a behemoth or something. And... Boom. Okay, so I need to make sure that I am closer to the zombie when striking. That was just a little bit too far away, but I'm just afraid of getting hit by the zombie. Okay, so I think the brightness does need to go down a bit. Um, so by the, by the time it gets to 10, it's dark. I just need to uh, fiddle around a little bit more to see exactly where it goes. Because in Alpha 18, I had the... Oh yeah, I also did this one last time. Um, Alpha 18, we had lighting on 50%. And our brightness only goes to 100%, so it's definitely lighter at the moment. Okay, so the question is, should I just go for the secret loot, or should I go... Let's go for the zombies. Uh, make sure we are reloaded with both guns. Reloaded. No, 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 no. I keep scrolling too far. At the moment, we can't even use the keys to see better, uh, or to uh, scroll the, between the weapons, because we have two blunderbusses. So I'm going to have to remember number three and four. Okay, so, obviously watch, we have to watch out for any zombie sleepers over here. This floor caves in. Should actually destroy it while I'm here. I don't want to fall in down there. Okay, so there's a zombie right there to the left, and, or to the, right, to the right, and it might be to the left as well. Can I just get some light in here, please? Yes, there you go. That's low enough. That should enable us to see. Now, the zombies shouldn't be able to get up here with us. Even if they take the stairs over here, because they should fall down. 
So let's take our time trying to kill all the zombies over here. And I'm just quickly going to take this out as well. So we actually have a good view of this zombie. Now, oh, I just remembered. We dropped our arrow and our uh, bow. Or arrows and bows. Because it was taking up space. Now I actually need it over here. Any more zombies? Knock, knock. They should, all the sleepers should have woken up from there just now. I should stop recording right after I wake up. Because that's how I make so many, so many speech errors and stuff like that. I just felt uh, this afternoon I was tired and now, yes, let's, let's do this. Let's record. Okay, so I'm waiting for the zombie outside to just break into the woods so I can see where she is. Right over here. Okay, so let's give you guys light. We're just going to pick this up. I need to make sure that I keep picking up my torches. I can't afford to throw them away every time. Boom. And still not dead. You know what? I should technically do this then. I should stop wasting ammo. If I can hit, uh, hit a zombie without them hitting me, go for melee. It's only when melee is an option that I have to use the other blunderbuss. There you go. And before I pick up the slide, we just have to make sure we reload it again. Unfortunately, we still don't have the mining helmet and it does get dark inside the pure eyes. So we have to uh, carry the torches around. I need to remember that we do still have the barbed fences over here. So that could also come in handy should we need it. The seam skew, so I think there's something behind this. Nope. If it's that much health, there's nothing behind there. I just hope we're not going to get bombarded by zombies over here. Man, look at all this coal over here. This is definitely a good mine now. The loot we need to go for is, I think, in there. We need to go all the way around, and there's also tops and bottoms and stuff to this. So we really need to watch out when we go down there, not to get bombarded by zombies. Can I jump up here? Whoops, and suitcase, okay. I thought it might be like a special loot or something, but I was wrong. Okay, let's see, anything in there that I can get right now? Nope, that's locked. I just have to be really, really careful, because sometimes they hide in the corners like this. And other times they hide upstairs. I need to be able to just drop my stuff. I'll drop a torch and fight. And now the coal of yeah, I'm actually tempted in taking it. Because at the moment we don't need coal. But soon we will need more ammo. More um, gunpowder. So on the one hand I should take it. On the other hand we don't have something that's really... If I took that 20% mining thing that might have helped. Because even if I just mine one thing it's going to give me 20% more. Okay, now the question is, where are all these zombies hiding? Hello. Just gonna do this. And face. Hit, 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 and miss, and boom. Okay, so that was a bad shot. I should actually also rely on my bobbed fences more. Before they get too close, just use a bobbed fence. But I need to get up close and personal in the face and shoot like that. But my shots go over their shoulders for some reason, come on. Okay, slow down a bit, reload, see this could also work, I, it slows them down long enough so I can just re uh, reload my guns. Okay, make sure both are reloaded, see this is the problem with having two blunderbusses, the reload uh, time or re reload speed. See there's a top on this as well, so as soon as we get closer to there, more and more zombies are going to fall in on our heads. We don't want the zombies falling in our heads because that's what's going to cause us to die. Okay, so, nothing over here. Just want to make sure, as soon as I hear something fall, I know there's a zombie behind me. We don't want them sneaking up on us, because they'll do serious damage if you're not prepared. I wish this whole mine shaft was lighted over, uh, like this. You can just at least see where we're going and where all the zombies are. Anything else? Oh, hello, hello. Boom, reload. And boom. Oh wow. The moment I thought it wasn't gonna take. Let's just do this and this. Come on, come straight to me, please. Go through it. Yes, there you go. And since it's still stuck, I should really be using my axe or all of my spear. But at the moment I don't want to take a chance of him stumbling across these and hitting me. I hate that little stumble they do sometimes. It's like a shoulder charge and football and rugby and stuff. Okay, let's see. Uh, any more zombies? Just want to make sure there's no zombies sneaking out of the woodwork over here. 
there should still be a zombie or two. If there's a dog over here, I'm gonna be screwed. So I cannot face a dog at the moment. I'm too weak for that. Hello, zombie. Oh, there's a ladder over here. Ooh. Uh, let's just give a little bit of light so you guys can see. This is what you just climbed up. Oh crap. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay, so reload. It's a little bit dark here, but at least you guys can see the lights over there where he is. Oh, you can't get up here for some reason. Oh, come on. Boom, okay. I was, I, it seems I was just a little bit too far away. As long as I can get up here and they can't, I'll be safe. But I mean, I've, I only have seven of these left because I keep using them too often at the moment. Okay, so this is where we entered the uh, first time. This is the thing we looked into. Now let's just quickly pick this up. I should just layer this whole place with torches and then afterwards pick it up. But going back for all the torches is going to be such a pain. There should be still another zombie or two left. Yep, there's two over there. Let's just do that. Line up two of these. Make sure these are reloaded and there's nothing else that can fall in our heads or get us from behind. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so it just just works, but barely. Ooh, in the face. That's a big thing. We need to make sure we get them in the face. If it's just a, tor a torso or something, it's not enough to kill them or take them down. Any sleepers over here? Doesn't seem to be, so we can just lock this behind us. Okay, now we should be safe for now. Uh, this comes out in that shade on top. And so far, I think we killed all the zombies down here, so there shouldn't be anything coming after us. And then obviously the end loot is this over here, but this is... Oh, it's untouched! Nice! That's going to save us so much time. So let's just quickly break open this safe then. Or rather this uh, crate. Um, ooh. What am I wearing at the moment? A level 2. Okay, so if I can repair that one... Come on. How long does it take to repair? Okay, wear it. And then this one we modify, taking out the mod. Complete, wear it, mod, equip, complete, wear. Okay, now this thing we can sell. Um, I should really just repair all of them and then sell them, but I mean, sometimes it's just a waste of repair kits if it's not at least worth 100. I mean, this is only worth 61. If I repair it, it might just be under 100. But still, might just come out on top if you decide to sell it. Or rather repair it, then sell it. Yeah, now let's see. Ooh, stone axe, better quality. Thank you. And a generator. That's a that's a really good find. And also, if even four more lockpicks. We didn't even use, have to use a lockpick on this thing. Nice. Please, please, please. Oh, yes. Level three blunderbuss. Some shotgun ammo for a first time ever. Okay, uh, let's just then... Does one of these have ammo in? This one does, this one doesn't. Okay, so this one we can take out and then equip this one. Nice, level 3. I should I really see if we can mod anything onto this. But what kind of mods will fit on this thing? Okay, um, we do need to repair this one and sell this because this is going to sell more than 100. And we need to drop stuff on the bike as well. Drunken is all I think that's where you fight zombies drunk. I'm not even going to try that. Uh, wood we can just make into these and then the rest you can throw away. And stone and paper we don't really need at the moment. We have more than enough paper at the base for more blunderbuss ammo. Guys, we need to go back to the trader in the morning and see if uh, if she has any of those candies. If we can get those candies and just get a bonus every time we do something, that's going to be so awesome. Okay, so where do I get out? That's locked. I think it's easier just to break. Yeah, it's definitely. This is 600 HP. Guys, remember, you don't always have to go for doors. Check how thick the walls are. 600 HP compared to 7.5 because this is triple reinforced. Rather, it's a door and then double reinforced. Reinforced two more times after that. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up. Let's go. My bike is over here. I can remember one time I had to fight a zombie horde over here. I had to uh, fight them as I was sliding down. It was such a hectic horde because they wrecked my base. But getting over here and being the uh, protector was really tough because they started to break that and I was sliding down all the time. And now they made it so that these wedges, zombies can actually climb up them without sliding. But I don't know why, because I mean, we can still slide, so how come they don't? Or at least uh, that's the thing they can do when you use the normal defense we usually use. Now zombies are able to actually not slide. So that's actually a really scary thought if you think about it. Okay, so where are we exactly? We need to go now go down and around. Okay, so we start with this one over here. 
I should probably also wrench all the cars we come across because you never know when you're going to need more parts and stuff. Oh wow, did I already loot? Yeah, I looted all of this already. So I don't think I'm going to wrench the cars now because I mean, we need space. Even though the minibike does have definitely more space, um, that's not the issue over here. The issue is the fact that we don't want to be too encumbered and have to keep going back to the base every now and then. So we're going to put these away. Resources we also always get so that keep, we keep on us. Gas we don't really need at the moment and all this ammo we don't need. Okay, I can't believe I already looted this. Now we just have to turn and look for the rest of the year. Sometimes these broken down buildings are just a nuisance, and other times they can have some pretty decent loot in them. Okay, so nothing on the floor. Ooh, hello, hello lady. I just noticed you. Let's see what a level 3 does. Oh crap. The way the, the heads go to the left, when I look at them to my right, but to their left, that's what makes you miss so easily. You think you have the shot, and as they swing both arms to hug you, their faces get tucked in. That's why it's so easy for them to hit you, and it's so easy for you to miss them. Okay, uh, let's see if I can jump up here. Thank you. Ooh, aloe cream. That might come in handy later. Need to make sure we get all the garbage files, guys. Just now there's more lockpicks, and more stuff that we can actually basically use. There is a zombie trying to get out somewhere. To the left. Okay, so we need to keep an eye out to the left over here. Definitely keep an eye out. Over here now, there might just be quite a few zombies, so I need to watch out. This is reloaded. This is reloaded. Let's go. Hopefully it's not too dark for you guys. Um, I think the li it's uh, just right lighting over here. Well, except if you do this. You actually see flashing on the screen as the lighting is a little bit bugged. But at the moment, uh, hopefully you guys can at least see it's not too dark. That's why I wonder if I should just keep it like this. Then we don't need a mining helmet. If we have to use a mining helmet, then it's gonna uh, we have to put the brightness down a lot. So you actually, it's worth using one um, outside. I mean, the nice thing is that we can see outside, but inside of your eyes, it's too dark. So inside, you'll need the mining helmet. But I mean, basically, I just feel that if we have a mining helmet, we can just well put the the lighting down to about 25% or 30% or something. No zombies in here. That would have been bad. Imagine jumping in and all of a sudden there's a zombie waiting. Okay, so just crappy loot. There's a nurse coming for us. Make sure we are reloaded and ready. Okay, now. Boom. Uh, you are thirsty. Okay, so there's another zombie coming for me as well. There's definitely another zombie to the left or to her right. Okay. Um, boom. Reload. Now this place might just have some safe, so let's hope there is some. Because we need loot. Oh, it's so nice when you get them that first shot in. Sometimes it's really, really tough to kill them. Other times it's, boom, easy. Okay, so this is the front side. Let's just quickly go in through here. And I just noticed there's some lead over here. Or is this nitrate? Wait, what? Oh, I hate spiders. I hate spiders. Reload, 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 reload. Let him jump to us. And then, boom. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. This is going to be tough. We need to wait for the spider to jump to us. Come on, jump, 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 and... Oh, I keep shooting over the head. This is so bad. Those zombies are easy, but this spider is the one that's really killing me at the moment. Run, 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 reload. If we can just get stuck behind her, that will help me so much. And no, 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 no. Oh, he looks creepy when he jumps. I don't know how many of you guys just saw that, but he looks really, really creepy. It's like he wants to hug you while he's in the air. Oh, okay, that actually gave me goosebumps. Okay, now these should be easy to take down. Let's just make sure we are reloaded. I just used up quite a bit of ammo. Trying to just take the spider down. Okay, swing and miss, and boom. Okay, so we need a better gun ASAP, guys. We can't afford to reload after every shot. Especially if you miss the spider zombie. It's so easy to miss and then you have to reload while he jumps at you. And that scary face he makes as he jumps for you is just creepy as hell. I don't like this destroyed stone look over here. It's so easy to step on a landmine or something, but if I'm not mistaken, these pure eyes do not have landmines. I might be wrong about that. There might actually be some. And it's still dark over here. Wow. Okay, uh, this does heal you, right? Health 50, stop bleeding, no. Abrasion, healing. I don't know what kind of healing I need, so I'm just going to use a bandage for now. Why is it so dark in here, but so light out here? 
It goes to show how the lighting is now. As soon as you go into a building, it's super, super dark. Okay, so we need to go in there, but it's locked. We need better tools as well. I think we need to see if we can already make some stone tools. I mean, if I can make a stone pick and fire axe already. But then, remember, we're going to have one less spot to work with on our belt. Any zombies? Nope. Okay, so a zombie jumped out of here. If I'm not mistaken, that was the nurse. Just make sure we quickly get all the loot over here. And then, I think as soon as we're done with the street, we need to go see if we can actually make a fire axe and stuff like that. We need to be able to break these doors down faster. Especially since they're so tough. Okay, um, do we have any short iron pipes? Yes, we do. Just to make sure my weapons are always at the max level. And always reloaded. Okay, so sometimes there's zombie sleepers over here, so just be on the lookout for that. Other times you can just traverse the outside of a building like this. Now, there should be quite a few zombies still in these rooms, guys, so we need to be careful of that. We could technically get into this room without even breaking down the door. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that now. Because of the fact that this is open over here, you just need frames or you don't even need frames. You can just hug the wall. That saves you so much time of whacking on the wall. Come on, give me some good loot. Is there a safe over here? Nope. I wonder what happened to that pure eye. It's exactly like this one, but there's a gun safe right here. It's been a very, very long time since I've seen one like that. Okay, make sure both guns are reloaded and go up. Uh, we already checked the other side of that door. We need to make sure we need to check every nook and cranny because there might just be some good loot hidden somewhere. Also have to watch out for any vultures, especially with this gun. It's the same as with a spider zombie. You miss them so easily and then you just shoot and shoot and shoot, wasting all your ammo. I think I wasted like 8 shots on just that one zombie just now. It's actually weird how flat the ground is over here. It can't be the, effect, uh, the thing that I still have my nitrogen tool loaded, because you have to create the map with the nitrogen uh, tool to have it flattened out like this. And there's zombies in here. Okay, so we're just going to do this, to slow them down a bit. And hopefully they all stand behind each other so I can just shoot them. I might just have to put another one. I'm just so afraid they're going to be able to get to me too fast. I should be able to get you though. You're dead. Okay, and reload, reload, reload. Make sure there's nothing coming from behind. It's so easy for zombies to come into this pure eye because it's so open. So you have to check your back constantly. Um, are you going to destroy the door? One more shot. Boom, and boom, and reload, reload, reload. Ooh, he got through. He stumbled through just now. Oh, you were mad at me. Um, she's also going to charge. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Thank you. Okay, that was too close for comfort. Him falling through like that almost saved his ass, or destroyed my ass just now. Come on, break this down, thank you. And I want zombie corpse over here. Any weapons? Please, 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 please. Or oh, just a blunderbuss. Okay, so if I can modify this one. Okay, didn't have any ammo in. Uh, just put this one here and repair. Make sure this one repairs. Oh, don't have any stone on me. Okay, so we should probably start scrapping these as well. Since they are taking up space. Um... Let's first do the lead because it's going to go faster. And then these. Come on, come on, come on. I need the space. There you go. Okay, so we still need to open the safe. But let's just quickly see what's, what else is there in this pure eye. We just make sure we get everything. If I'm not mistaken, there is still a wall safe or a desk safe in this place. Just want to check every nook and cranny. Over here? No. Man, it's been so long since I've actually seen these pure, uh, pure eyes. Even in Alpha 18, I didn't really see any maps with these in. I don't know if they were removed and then just uh, put back in now. But as far as I can remember, these weren't here anymore. Or I just played uh, modded so long that I got used to the special pure eyes. Not really a big fan of how the garbage looks. It always looks like there's a zombie curled up on the floor or something waiting to attack you. It doesn't really look like a garbage bag or something like that. It just looks like a massive stone rock or something. Stone pillar. Okay, so the door over here is still... No. I want to say it's still intact. That's not the one we were looking for. This is. So let's just fill it up like so. I don't want to use any of my bobs. I only have three left. So I do need to actually make myself another one. Or a few more of these. We should have enough wood and... No, we don't have enough wood. I want to say we should have enough wood and iron to be able to make it. But it seems we don't. Okay, now this one we should be wearing for crafting time and XP gain. So, wait, we're not wearing anything at the moment, so we can wear that. 
Remember that I thought we were still we we're, we're actually wearing the uh, lucky looter goggles. Okay, please give me some awesome loot. I need guns. Okay, two lockpicks and please. Yeah, it's finally a pistol. So at least during the war we'll have a pistol to use. Now I think we should quickly go back to the base. Let's see if we can quickly loot these two pure eyes so we can just keep on going, or at least just this one next door. Um, because that is part of that street, so we're anyways going to have to loot that. But I want to make sure we go back to the base and see if we can get some lockpicking candy. If we can make sure that we lockpick 100% every time we try, and there's a ton of gun safes, we're going to be so lucky. Also, I saw one guy playing... I can't remember who it was. Apparently there's a pure eye in this that's really... I think it's this one. It's a shotgun messiah pure eye. But there's like a ton of uh, ammo caches and stuff in there. If I can get that building, even if it uh, takes me a while to clear, we'll have enough weapons to last us a while. Okay, so now we have to watch out for any sleepers sleeping inside of here. Because of the texture, it's sometimes very difficult to see the zombies. Just make sure we're not missing anyone that's just going to wake up all of a sudden. Oh, there's a gun safe right underneath there. Or rather a wall safe and then one on top over there as well. So first off, you need to make sure this whole place is clear of zombies. Now there's two over there. I wonder if I shouldn't just try them from this side then. I don't want to get the attention of this whole place. I just want these two zombies to come for me and then the next and then the next. Instead of getting bombarded by... Ooh, there's three zombies. Bombarded by zombies over here. Did I just kill both of them? All three of them? Wait, is this the power of a level 3 or is that just lucky crits? Usually it takes way more shots than that to kill zombies. Okay, make sure both of them are reloaded. I'm deal wielding. <laughs> okay, I actually always like the character in anime that's uh, dual uh, wielding a weapon. Is that like, is that special character that has more mobility, so he uses two weapons instead of a shield and a weapon? Okay, so let's see. Seems all the zombies of you have been taken out. If I can go through here, ooh, I can actually get them before they go through the door over there. No, 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 no! Oh, she's gonna destroy that bookcase. Come this way, please. This way. No. That dude is so... Re Damn it. Now he's going for the bookcase, so I might not be able to loot it. I thought I was being clever, but I was being dumb. Okay, just make sure this is reloaded. All three of you are here around. Yes. Finally, thank you. So I think I'm going to wait for them to break the door down instead of me breaking down, and then I have to change my weapon. Okay, now they should break it soon. Come on, break it. Boom. And boom. Yes. Okay, so luckily they didn't destroy the bookcase over here, but if I'm not mistaken, there was something else in here as well. Damn, imagine if that was a guns bag they destroyed. That would so suck. Okay, um, I think we're going to just do this. So if there's a zombie coming, we can at least stop them. We need to make sure we always uh, read our books. That's uh, taking up so much inventory space that's unnecessary. Okay, agility plus one. This. It's a shame you don't get different abilities on different items. For example, um, the plus intellect on the nerdy goggles, uh, plus uh, uh, the agility. You know this, uh, the strength as a plus one strength on the cigar. And then there's a plus one intellect on the nerdy goggles. So I wish different items could have different uh, abilities. Now you have three different glasses. Nerdy glasses, lucky little glasses, and ski goggles. Um, and yeah, it just takes up too much space. You have to take, or have all those on you to make a difference. I hope that made sense just now. Come on, come on. Please, 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 please. Two lockpicks and... Okay, at least we can sell that. But the storage pockets, I should really start putting on my armor. I need to go back to the base and see if I can make proper armor and proper everything. Now that looks like a shamway factory. I really want to go check if that, other, uh, if that thing over there is the factory I'm looking for. If that is a shotgun factory, we're definitely doing that uh, next episode. But before then, let's just check this safe over here as well. Yeah, there you are. I know this PI. It's been a while since I looted it, but I know this one. Okay, so about two or three lockpicks. Lost counters. Ooh, a level four. Nice. And I just went and made sure that these were up to date. Okay, so modify. Take the ammo out of that one. Put that one there. That one there. We don't have any small pipes unfortunately um, okay so that's it wow my inventory is really really full I need to see if I can actually put a few of these away on my bike now where did I leave that torch did I leave it on the building over there I could have sworn I had more torches than that just two I think I had three 
So it's so easy to forget your torch, especially when you're in a hurry, trying to get everything done. All of a sudden you realize, oh crap, you lost a torch, and you can't remember exactly where you lost that torch. So this pure eye I can just well get. I'm um, yeah, why not? There should be a door on this thing so that I don't get stuck in the barbed wire. And I need to also watch out for any zombie sleepers in here. Okay, all my guns are reloaded, don't have to worry about that. Okay, so the fact that I hear a zombie going <sighs> means there is a zombie in here, I think. Either on top or below of here. I need to also see what kind of mods I have. Oh, you fell down from the top. The, the noise they make is so satisfying, that squishing sound. Okay, repair this. I still don't have any stone. I need to actually gather a little bit of stone. So I can at least upgrade whatever I need to upgrade over here. So please tell me at least, since there was a zombie over here, there must be some loot. Ooh, almost fell down the ladder. That would have sucked. Okay, it doesn't look like anything over here. I love the fact that they can fall down like, like that, which means a fall damage base might just work, but I just wonder how the pathing works. Do they still path normally, or is there something wrong with the pathing now? Oh, there's no loot over here, right? No, there's no loot, only water. Okay, so we need to eat and drink. Also, uh, do we have a skill point? Before I forget now, now I'm looking at the eating and drinking. We need one point into... Is it over here? Master Chef. I want to be able to make myself some bacon and eggs. I have, I think, 10 eggs and uh, quite a bit of meat. And I can't make any food because I, I needed that one skill point. Okay, guys, so I'm just I'm gonna go back to the base. Next episode, we really need to see if... Where is that gun now? We really need to see if we can loot way more. And then also at the trader, we need to check if there's some of that lockpicking candy. If we can get a 100% lockpicking skill, that's gonna be epic. Okay, so just do this so we know where to go next. But I think I'm going to go straight down that road next time and try and see what that big pure eye over there is. If it's a shotgun, uh, shotgun one, I'm going to loot it immediately. Even though it's not in the path of the buildings I want to loot at the moment. Okay, yeah, so I'm just doing a cool episode and then see you guys next time. If you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback that I miss anything that you guys think about this episode, anything at all, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.